Hi guys, it's Monica. I'm going to share with you a wig review and this wig is from a company I had never heard of. And when they reached out to me and I, you know, went on to their website, I was looking around on their website and I thought, wow, some of these pieces look really beautiful, but they, they didn't have any pictures, say, of real people, at least not a lot. And it's one thing to judge a wig on a mannequin, a wig head that isn't a real person. They tend to look completely different. So I picked a couple of wigs and, um, you know, because it's being that I've never reviewed for them before, I can understand this. They said, oh, no, you know, we need to send you something else. So that was fine. So they picked this wig, not me. And when I looked at it, when they said this is what they were going to send me, and I looked and I only saw the mannequin, I was like, mm, I don't know how this was going to work. But anyways, this company, Inner Belza, B-E-L-L-E-Z-A, -E -E Inner Belza, they put together the most amazing presentation. I'm going to superimpose sort of my first look when it came. I opened up the box. This was gift wrapped in holiday paper. There was cute little decorations in there, I guess, if you want to call it that. And also they had included a holiday scarf. Let me show you this right now. And just... Just check out the unboxing. So I opened it up. I unwrapped the, the, the wig was actually wrapped in Christmas paper. And then there was a little Christmas magnet. And then there was the little reindeer ears. And it was just such a cute, cute presentation. And along with that came a brush and a wig grip and a wig cap. I was totally amazed at what a beautiful presentation it was. So then I opened it up and the color is a bit on the blonde side for me, but I, I'll tell you, this is what it is right here. One thing I want you to always remember when you first put a wig on your head, if you're like me anyways, you're going to put it on your head, especially if you have you know, like you've got hair loss, right? You don't have a lot of volume. Your hair is thin or you don't have hair. No matter what style you put on your head the very first time you put it on, you're going to feel like all of a sudden you've got, you know, this like hat on your head, this fur hat. Or I always say I feel like Bozo the Clown when I first put a wig on because I have all this hair. And most wigs are going to take a little bit of manipulation before you can really play with them nicely. So I wanted to show you what this looks like before I put it on my head. And I thought, I thought the wave pattern was really nice. This is a, what I call sort of a deconstructed bob, right? It's a bob style. I think it has blunt edges, longer in the front, and it is the color. And what I really like about this is in their tags that they put in here, they have one that talks about the color. So this is actually the shade Harlow Blonde Rooted. I know you're not going to be able to see that. Then they have another tag with their company name on it. And then they have a tag that has all sorts of pins on how to take care of the, the piece which I thought was really, really nice. So all of these are attached to the wig. I'm gonna open it up and show you the inside. I'm gonna turn it inside out. So you can see the mono and the lace front. It does have some permatease. It needs it, right, for the shape. Not a whole lot. This is actually feels much lighter to me than their website describes adjustable cap so it is stretchy and this is a basic cap synthetic fibers does not have it it's got a little bit of an extension here but nothing much and again you've got the velcro adjustable strap so you can make this smaller if you want or larger if you want and then it has the lace front really nice piece let me tell you a little bit more about this before i put it on my head so Inner Belzia is a U.S.-based company, and they've actually been making wigs 
since 2012. Who knew? I didn't know. I had never heard of them. Anyways, they've got them. They don't have, they've got a, a, a good range. They don't have a ton of different colors. So you'd have to look at the colors really carefully to see what it comes in. But they offer a customization for an additional fee. Like, for example, if you wanted to have a darker lace front or something like that, or you needed a bigger cap or a smaller cap, they encourage you to reach out to them. They'll talk to you. They'll give you a quote to make adjustments for you. I was really impressed with that. They also gave me a discount uh, coupon, basically Monica. I'm not sure what kind of a discount that we'll get. They, they tend to have some amazing, amazing sales. So again, this one is called Rule, and I do think this rules. They describe this as shoulder length with layers, wavy synthetic lace front, mono top, and you, I like the wider mono top so you can actually part it in many different ways. I really like this a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a little shake. I'm going to put this on my head and I'm going to warn you because when you first do this, it does look a little bit strange. So I normally put this on, I pull it down in the back, I make sure my ear tabs are lined up and I have absolutely no idea because I don't have a mirror. So I have no idea what this is look like, what this is actually looking like other than my viewfinder. So when you when you have any kind of a um, you know hair like this, you want to make sure that if you're doing any combing, that you're combing it with a wide tooth comb. I have a couple of different wide tooth combs. The one that I like the most, I actually have in my filming studio. The one that I like the most is um, has a long handle on it as well. So always adjust your your lace front to make sure. Oh, look at that. I mean, really, if I wanted to lighten up the roots, which would be my natural inclination, I could just take a little bit of eyeshadow, which is what I normally do, or some sort of a powder, and you put it on. So let me go look in the mirror, and I'll be right back. Okay. So I just did a little bit of nothing much with it. I will tell you I feel this cap should be cinched in for me a little bit. I have a 22 inch circumference and I feel I have plenty of room. So when I take it off, I'll cinch it in a little bit. Um, I'm an ear tucker, <laughs> so you can see. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. I'm going to take this off, cut this off, put this on again and reposition myself. And then I'm also going to show you a couple of shots. I'll turn around and show you some shots on the outside. Be right back. Okay, so I ended up cutting the tags off, and I really haven't done anything. You know, like I would probably, like I mentioned, I would probably do a little bit of powder um, by the lace front, by the roots, only because I think for me personally to have the, the roots be this noticeable, I don't know, makes me feel a little bit um, not my comfort zone to have the roots this noticeable, personally. And that's just like I'm also the lady that I can't do the ripped jeans. <laughs> and everyone else loves the ripped jeans. I really can't do the, the ripped jeans. So anyways, mono lace front. This is a size average. I would say it runs large average. The texture is what they call curly wavy. I wouldn't necessarily consider this to be curly, but definitely more of a beachy, wavy type, type of a texture or look. The density is light. I totally agree with that. This, this has an amazing, this kind of reminds me of, I want to say Raquel Welch. I think it's unfiltered. Is that the one kind of reminds me of that? But the density is lighter. So if you're looking for something like that that has a lighter density, the fibers here are very light, very light. And even though there's a little bit of permatease that I can feel, not much. You know, probably just enough to, to um, you know, make the, the shape look really nice.
So the part, let me tell you, this right-handed, this falls naturally onto the right side here. I could probably work this a little bit with some manipulation and you could go more for a center part if you want. It wouldn't take much to train this at all. You know, you could also cut bangs into this if you wanted to have a little bit of a fringe, which I would probably do. I would probably just gently cut a little bit of fringe in here. <laughs> but yeah, I was surprised at the part being more on the right side because normally... I don't see them that way. Normally for me, most of the wigs I have are left side. And this is definitely a right side. So let me do a spin for you so you can see the back. And again, this is just plopped on my head. I think it's kind of pretty. So I would definitely trim some layers here, just a little bit around my face, just to give it some more shorter frames here. But it tucks beautifully. It looks really nice. Let me just show you this. This is what I thought was a blanket until I opened it up. It is a beautiful holiday scarf. Really nice and warm. Oh my gosh. And let me show you the rest of the stuff that came with it. A brush that's sort of like a scalp massager as well, which I thought was really interesting. And of course I got the little reindeer earrings, uh, reindeer, what do you call them? Headband. A wig grip came with it. It's bad. It kind of reminds me of that peach loft bag that I got, but this is a heck of a lot more sturdier than that one that I bought and talked about. But, and then I got a little magnet, a little Santa magnet. So I thought, I mean, I thought the presentation was beautiful. I was really shocked by the amount of gifts that they put in. So I'm going to, in closing, I'm going to close this out and show you a couple of outside shots that, um, so you can see this wig, but yeah, it does. It kind of reminds me of, I think it's unfiltered. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to Inner, I'm going to figure that out, Belzia. What an awesome presentation you have. And I should also, in closing, tell you they have a ton of sales going on. So look around their website carefully. I'll link all the information below. I'll link all the dimensions below for the wig, the weight, and all of that. But it feels a lot lighter on my head than it says.